All right. What's going on, everyone, on YouTube? It is back. NES Roller. Welcome to day number 13 of my 31 Days of Horror. This week, we're going to be doing the Halloween series, uh, a series that I've been wanting to do since I started this you know, month marathon. I knew I wanted to talk about this series. Sooner or later, you know, it's my probably my second favorite horror series behind Child's Play, of course. So, um, so let's get into it. We're going to talk about the first Halloween flick directed by John Carpenter. Uh, my opinion on this movie. Huh. Of course, I'm 1978. I should have already stated that, but most of you guys know that, but... My opinion's about the original Halloween, well, of course, it's definitely the best uh, film in the entry in the series, for sure, and it's definitely one of the most influential horror movies of all time, that you guys already know. Now, uh, I think that if it wasn't for Halloween, we wouldn't be into the slasher genre that we saw today. I would figure it would have came along sooner or later. But if it wasn't for Halloween, you guys, I don't know where we would be. And this movie has been talked about up the shit. And, you know, I really don't want to talk about it for, you know, ten minutes. But, uh... It's just definitely one of the most... Uh, I wouldn't say best horror movies ever made. You know, I'm probably going to get shat on for saying that. But it's definitely in the, you know, top ten greatest horror films ever made for many many reasons that most of you guys already know but i guess i'll explain the plot already because you guys all probably know what it is about anyway but this guy named michael myers he uh escapes from an insane asylum that he's been at assumingly since he's been a child because he killed his sister when he was a little kid so he flash forwards to when he's an adult and he breaks out of this insane asylum and returns to the fictional town of Haddonfield, Illinois. And which, by the way, that town pretty much looks nothing like any town that would be... Like, I don't know where Haddonfield would be considered in the state of Illinois. Uh, it's definitely not a town that would be down south because it does not look like any type of town. Like, I've been down south in the state, because I'm from Chicago, as you know, so I've been down south, and it definitely doesn't look like any towns down south, cause mostly down south in Illinois, it's just mostly cornfields and towns of, you know, 30 to 40 people, little towns with a bar and a grocery store, but, you know, I would assume Haddonfield would be in the northern, you know, Chicago suburbs, and uh, it really doesn't look like that around here so you can obviously tell that they're shot in california so of course uh michael mars starts going on a killing rampage because he wants to get to Lodi strode's who we find out is actually his sister and he wants to try and kill in his entire family off because he killed his sister in the beginning of a movie like i mentioned in so, of course, um, you know, he starts going on a killing streak. Only in these, you know, these three houses in this neighborhood, which is extremely done well. And it, this, it has probably one of the greatest atmospheres of any horror movie. Uh, like I said, it's been talked about up to shit. But the atmosphere of, you know, just these three houses in the pitch black on Halloween with all these kids walking around... It's just so awesome. It's such a great atmosphere. and It's just such a great, fantastic movie. And like I said, it shaped the way for all horror movies. I really don't know what to say about this. This review really sucked. But there's so much to talk about this movie that, you know, hasn't already been said a million trillion trillion times. So, um, I hope you guys you know, somewhat enjoyed my thoughts on the original Halloween. Uh, you know, as the sequels go on, it'll be more uh, open to talk about them a little bit more because they're not as well-known as the original Halloween. So, uh, 
thanks again everybody for watching i hope everybody had a great weekend uh if you like what you see give us a thumbs up comment down below if you want to follow me on twitter you can't do so at twitter.com slash nes road 22 i post on there every day about movie stuff so once again thanks everybody for watching and i shall talk to you guys tomorrow with halloween 2 so i'll talk to you guys soon